Welcome to Dr. A's weekly healthy bastards health tip. Now this week's talk is about warts. <laughs> now warts are caused by a virus. It's called the human papillomavirus or HPV. The common wart that we all know about on our skin, most of, ha- uh, most of us have had one from time to time, looks a bit like this. You know, it's a cauliflower, raised little lesion, and it can occur basically anywhere, on your elbow, on the back of your hand, uh, back of your leg, knees. But most of these common warts will just go by themselves. But some people get a bit embarrassed by them and decide, look, we've got to get rid of them. And so you could file them off if you wanted, or you could go to your doctor. (coughs) Now, what will the doctor do? Well, the doctor uses a stuff initially called liquid nitrogen to sort of burn them off. Now, have a look at this. You'll see the nurse has got a a container of liquid nitrogen here, and she picks some out, and you can see it's all steaming because it's it's so cold, it's letting off steam, believe it or not. It's about a minus 150 degrees Celsius. She puts it in this container, see, and it's all steamy and goodness knows what, looks like something out of a movie. Then the doctor will, or the nurse, will put a cotton bud into it, take some of the icy cold fluid, and see this wart on the back of this guy's hand, and they'll dab it and leave it there for, you know, five or ten seconds, and then that will burn the wart in the skin around it and take it off. The wart then forms a blister and then peels off. So that's a common way of getting rid of common warts, even though most go by themselves anyway. But I want to mention three particular varieties of warts which are important. Firstly, uh, verrucas. A lot of people come to our surgery with verrucas, which just describes warts on the soles of your feet. And they're important because they're quite hard and they feel like a stone. And so, you know, really you want to get rid of them. Um, If the liquid nitrogen won't work, a lot of those need to be burnt off, and again, your GP will do that. The second type of wart that's important is warts that you get on your willy, or male genital warts, and it looks a bit like this, you know, like here's your knob, and you get the warts around the base of it like this. They're very common, and usually sexually transmitted. It's important to get these warts sorted out by your GP or someone at the sexual health clinic, because what they'll do is is they'll either fizz them off with a little bit of liquid nitrogen or apply the special cream which will burn them off. But you need to get rid of them because there is an association with cancer of the penis, but more importantly, there's a very clear relationship with these HPV viruses in women getting cervical cancer. Uh, to the point where women now actually have vaccines to try and get rid of this virus. But we don't even want to go there, so we want to do everything we can to prevent getting these, uh, spreading these viruses by getting them frozen off your willy if they're there, using condoms and uh, safe sex. So, that's warts. <laughs> Cool, fellas. So that's it for this week. We talked about warts and uh, just put a little focus on warts on your willy and uh, the sexually transmitted bit. So we'll look forward to seeing you next week for Dr. Dave's weekly Healthy Bastards health tip. And do help me spread these so they go viral. Thanks again, fellas. See you later.